Hey guys, another day, another project. Today's project is gonna be offsite. I'm running out of projects in my house, so we're gonna decide to do something special for somebody else. We're doing a tiny shower makeover. You know, the phone booth showers. If you have one, let me know in the comment section below. So here's what we're looking at. This is a classic 25-year-old shower booth. There's not a lot of room, and the best part is, well, actually the worst part is, it's hideous. We all have them. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip the whole thing out and I wanna modernize it with tile coming up the walls. I want tile on the ground. And the best part, I wanna incorporate an overhead shower raindrop feature like my big shower that I've done before. All right, enough talking. Let's get inside and see what we're working with. All right, so the bathroom is in there, the shower is in there, and what's the first step of any project? This is the perfect time to talk about the sponsors of today's video, Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is the leading no-log VPN service. Now you're probably asking, why do I need a VPN service? Now imagine you're traveling to Canada and you wanna catch up on your latest Netflix binge episodes. Well, you can't because Netflix is restricted in certain countries. With PIA VPN, you can hide your existing IP address, replace it with another IP address, and conceal your digital footprint and location. To access any restricted sites, I simply log into my PIA VPN account, select my home server, and now I can access my Netflix US, UK, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Disney Plus, and BBC. PIA VPN conveniently has dedicated apps for all platforms, including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Amazon Fire Stick, Linux, and more, with simultaneous connections for up to 10 devices. So if I log into my account, let's say on my iPad, I don't have to log out of it to use the VPN account on my laptop. And if I need to deactivate my VPN, I, there's a, just a simple kill switch button is only one click away. Founded in 2010, PIA is a rapidly growing VPN service that has unlimited access almost to 20,000 servers and 70 countries. No wonder they were rated as PC Mag editor's choice. Multiple payment options are available, including PayPal, Bitcoin, gift cards, and more. With internet censorship on the rise, there is no better time to get your private internet access wherever you go. Simply just click the link to support my channel and get two years plus three months for free. That's just $2.59 for a month. Now let's go see what we can do with the shower project. Let's go. All right, in order to take out these showers, they're, they're kind of simple, but a little bit pain in the butt. Usually you want to cut out about two inches on the sides and the top, and there you'll see a tab that goes behind the drywall with the screw secured into the stud. Once you get that undone, that usually kind of pops off, and then this has a screw there and a screw underneath that comes off. Just, it's like, it's just like dancing with a mattress. It's gonna be a little awkward, but we'll get her done. Probably thinking, hey, dummy, why are you using a knife on this? Well, you know, you guys always tell me, oh, it'd be nice if I had all those tools. Well, you know what? I'm going all primal on you guys. I wanna move this to be a shower curtain rain right here. I'm gonna cut this out and then cut into here. And that will tell me if I have room above for the water line. These are kind of like the dugouts that they have for the plumbing to come in when they built the house. We gotta make sure that we isolate just to be a circle this big for the tube, the drain pipe to come up. That means we have to dig this dirt out, put concrete, fill it in, and just put a little collar around it, make it work. Now we're doing a Schluter system. They have two connections. One if you can get underneath the foundation or one if you cannot. Obviously concrete, we cannot. So I'm gonna put a collar over that to protect the pipe. I'm gonna put quick post concrete in there, put water on top, let it settle, and then flatten it out. Then we can put our Schluter on top. corners are straight for the most part except this this little dumb piece of 2x4 that's holding up PVC pipe it's secured on top but they wanted to bring it halfway on top anywho the problem is it's overlapping half an inch meaning this part is not going to be straight this section tile's not going to be straight drywall's not going to be straight so what I'm gonna have to do is cut it off over there put a few screws just to keep that 
pipe up there and then move this two by four on the inside part so we can still secure a drywall. All right, well, here's a quick and easy way to get nice, clean, fast cut, most importantly, on drywall. Take a drywall square, take your <laughs> razor blade and create a nice, clean scorch using the square as a guide. Bring it this way, cut the back holding paper, and there you have it. Clean, perfect cut. Oh, wow. Okay, so this has been some of the most frustrating part of this build here. These walls, it's a finished basement, and so these walls weren't perfectly straight, but now, after hours of work, I finally got everything nice and square. Some place had to be shimmed, some place had to have a double piece of drywall to bring it out. This is a system for the shower pan. It's got multiple components in it, the waterproofing membrane, the, the, the what do they call it? The, the, the sidewalk or the, the ledge. And then this is the pan that slopes in. I'm gonna cut it aside and start using uh, unmodified thin set to put it in place. So far I spent about maybe 15 bucks on the drywall and screws. Uh, the kit right here was expensive. It was like 522 bucks. So I can cut this curb and everything to size. I'm just nervous because it's expensive. I'm gonna see if I can get this whole shower done in maybe 1500 bucks. I, I have a good feeling about it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, of all the problems, this is gonna be the most annoying one. I did my research, I did this right. The wrong thing I did is the diameter of this. Look at this. That should be sitting flush on the ground. I didn't measure that this is four inches and so that. <sighs> There's two options. I can either A, build up a platform, which is an inch and a half. I, I can make that happen. Or option B, I could take an angle grinder and just cut a square around this and that'll give enough clearance. Um, option B is messier and I don't want to build a platform. Um, damn. <sighs> you live and you learn, man. Live and learn. The idea is, is uh, you first want to use the cement and, and the primer to glue on the drain first. So we're gonna take thin set mortar with a quarter inch trowel, place the thin set underneath it, place the thin set on this, and then smack it underneath it, and then we could put our Schluter pan over that. All right, we trimmed it off how we needed it, did a dry fit, looks good. Um, keep in mind, your walls are not gonna be perfectly straight, so we're gonna make it work. We have the moisture resistant drywall. Now we're gonna cover it with a waterproofing membrane to make sure it doesn't come through. The trick is two inches overlaps minimum on every joint. Now, uh, we're not using copper, that's an old school way. This is the new mixing valve. We're gonna get these adapters that didn't come with this mixing valve put on with Teflon tape. And then some of the uh, extensions, like this drop ear that's coming up up there, they have a PEX adapter to it. And all PEX is, is these crimping rings with a plastic made material, kind of like this, that slips on and you use a tool 
that pressurizes it and clamps it in place. Very tight, more effective than the crimping tool, the small little one. The water is turned on, um, nothing is leaking, which is a huge good sign for us. We have successfully made a good installment. Now blood test, all it is is you come in here, you fill it up with water one or two inches. As you can see, I made a marking right there and you let it sit for 24 hours. I did this last night or yesterday morning um, and I put a little stop valve in there, close it all down, away it goes. Uh, this is big, oh gosh, what is this called? It is called Metro Gris, Gris Porcelain Tile. It's 12 by 24. I'm gonna make this vertical tile going up. Use the same thin set quarter inch trowel, put it up, and I'll show you the leveling system I'm using. <laughs> Hands down the hardest tile job I've ever done. This is probably my third shower I've done. Uh, these walls are crazy and they're all load bearing. So there's always, there's like a little bow right here and a little bow here. And so this is probably the, the first two tiles I placed that actually went according to plan. These are the little lifters that I'm placing in. They're just almost working as a spacer as well. And then uh, these are little wedges that go inside of it. And then you have to use this little clamp to compress them together to the right notch size. That way they're all leveled and nothing's higher than the other. <laughs> You don't have to get the $500 model one. I, I got this one for 200 bucks. Your only thing that you're really looking for is a sliding table. You don't want to get a table that doesn't slide just because there's a lot of friction and you'll crack a lot of tiles. We're not book smart, but at least we're street smart. So make yourself a little templates. We can cut this out now. Sometimes you're gonna do a little exploratory procedure. In our situation, didn't work out, but we'll fix it. So the grout time, we're finally in the home stretch. This is the grout that I went with. It is a charcoal color. I think it's gonna work really well with the tile. Uh, there are sanded and non-sanded tiles. A lot of it's based off of where the tile's gonna go. Other times it's depending how wide your gaps are. So this will cover up to an eighth of an inch gap. Let's mix this up according to this directions and start spreading this thing. Grouting. 
probably the smoothest part right now for us going. Uh, I'm not saying this tempts me to lick it because I think it's like chocolate, but I might if I don't have a snack cool soon. Um, also, you probably noticed the OG of Mr. Builder shirts, my original shirts, we don't sell them anymore, but check out the link in the description for my merch section. You see the brand new logos and the brand new shirts. I'll support the channel and pay for this bathroom. <laughs> I am sweating. I didn't realize I'm gonna sweat from just putting grout in. Um, we're gonna let this haze dry overnight. That's what the instructions say. Then we're gonna come and clean everything up tomorrow. We're almost there. Tomorrow we're gonna run this bad boy. So uh, I'll see you guys mañana. We have to take all the corners, all the edges, um, and silicone them, 100% silicone, or you can buy the exact grout that has silicone in them. That way water doesn't seep into those corners and get you in trouble. We're just about ready to get the real big reveal. Um, I gotta do a few coats of the sealer. Uh, what that does is it, it seals the tile. First of all, it looks really nice. It's like this wet look, but second of all, it keeps dirt and debris from staining it over time. Um, I'm gonna apply a few coats of this and I'll see you guys in a minute for the big reveal. All right, you guys wanna see what all our hard work came out to? Check this out. So, so far I spent $90 on the shower faucet system, $522 on the Schluter system, $50 on the drain gate, $60 on the pipe fittings in the concrete, $250 on tile and grout, and $40 on tile levelers, and of course, sealer. So you're probably wondering what's up with no door. I'm gonna experiment with it. There's a floor regulation here. So I'm ideally I'd like to get away with not having a door. Hopefully there's not too much backsplash, but I'll let you know after a few trial runs here and then we'll throw one on there if we have to. This is part one of the two part video series for this bathroom makeover. So make sure you check it back on the next video to see what I end up doing with this door. Thanks so much for watching yet another one of my videos. If you bring in the channel and you like videos like this or any kind of home improvement project, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted every time a video comes out. If you want to connect with me more, check me out on my social media, including my merch section. All the links will be down in the description below. All help support this channel. Remember guys, we're not trained professionals. We're just not afraid to try and fail. Courage and sweat. That's our motto here. You need the curse to take out and rip out this bathroom. You need the sweat to deal with all the mistakes we made and things we learned along the way. But in the end, we become better builders and better people in the end. Make sure you check back on my next video while I finish off this entire bathroom. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Bye.